it's like an incest family that we... <laughs> but do you think that uh, the way of working you, you described earlier, that it's almost unavoidable that that you influence each other so much because you you do everything together? Yeah, um, perhaps, but we also try to be very picky that we don't, you know, maybe we make a uh, thousand riffs and only two remains. So we, we kick out stuff that sounds too much similar to, we don't want to repeat ourselves. So, so we are very picky, but of course, like you said, yes, it's very easy that we you know, it's like an incest family that we, <laughs> all the riffs are, Oops. you know. But yeah, it is very in easy. <laughs> but uh, like I said, we are very picky that we try to select, uh, you know. Quality incest. Uh, incest. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All the quality incest um, riffs. What I want to ask, I, I couldn't find anything. Will there be a, a video for the one of the songs on the newest records? Uh, at some point, maybe, yeah. But not yet no, confirmed no, no, or no, no plans? No. Uh, okay. Because, um, yeah, I was wondering, uh, well, last topic, um, is a visual uh, for art, is that also very important for you? Because I saw you had uh, made some video clips in the past uh, referring to themes you also write about and also in the... Do you dig inspiration for yourself a lot in, in visual art? I'm not sure if the video, the visuals as of a video is so important for us. It's, I think so more, more, more than maybe like artwork for the album and stuff like that. We've always been very um, aware of what we want to have as the cover. It's always been our ideas. And I think it's only been maybe like two albums where it didn't really came out the way we, we anticipated really. Mm -hmm. um, well. Are you involved yeah. very much? Or then, or oh yeah, I mean, all the ideas are ours uh, from the beginning. Everything you see from the band, uh, t-shirt designs, whatever, everything comes from yeah. the band. I mean, uh, actually also on this album, I, I think we almost had the, the cover idea before we had any songs yeah. <laughs> or an album title. So mm -hmm. uh, obviously we had we had the idea for, for the lyrics and, 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 uh, and the, the music, but we didn't really have anything put together. And we came up with a with a cover idea, and we just said this is going to be awesome. So we just went with it. But is, is it is it almost then gets like a sort of an icon that you can work up to, like when you have this strong uh, image? Maybe in your head? I don't know. Uh, maybe it inspired us a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, before everything anything was really done, we already started writing on stuff. But we had an idea in our head what this album would be. I guess before we started writing, and I think that's built. As said again. It, I uh, went into the whole writing the, on, of the album, everything from our idea of what the production should be, but also like the cover artwork and everything. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, we had like the brutality and everything that we felt that we wanted to bring kind of spilled over to the production with like the faster, more violent songs, but also the epic stuff. I think we felt that we could evolve that further as well. So. Have you actually, I was just curious, seen the, the Danish movie uh, Valhalla Rising? Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. <laughs> yeah? So yeah. Did, did you like it? No, I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, it reminded me a little bit of the, the video I just uh, saw of you. But uh, it's too bad that they all, always make these uh, Viking movies so cheesy. I mean, the, the 13th Warrior and uh, this one. And, uh, but it was, uh, I think, less cheesy than 13th Warrior. If I, maybe yeah, I guess. Uh, it was kind of weird, weird story in I mean, in it's general. a great actor, for sure, the yeah. Danish guy. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what's... I, I don't know. I, I, think, I think I prefer the uh, Ram Gunnlaugsson's uh, like, um, movies instead. Uh, but uh, what the hell? I think the the English title is the Barbarians, of the first one. But I think the the correct title should be, the Raven flies, and then they have the shadow of the Raven. And those those movies are great Viking movies, really really inspiring. So do you hope with the whole because you add musically also a little bit to the iconic uh, yeah the translation of Viking mythology a little bit too modern. But you, do you see there's still hope for uh, the whole package to, to the, for movies? Yeah, you hope it would be actually amazing to make, in a, you know, instead of making an, an album, you make a, a movie <laughs> that, uh, you know, I don't know, you have a whole movie that you make music to. I, I think, I think one, awesome. of the, one, 
One of the problems when you, when they do Viking movies, uh, uh, as as Ollie said, is that they, they they kind of make it too cheesy. And I, I know for a fact because uh, a friend of my sister was kind of involved with it. But for the Thirteenth Warrior, they had like two different wardrobes, and the actors could pick from. There was one wardrobe which was like authentic style Viking clothing. And this was one wardrobe with like leather clothing, like like rock stars, and like more all the actors went for the rock star clothing instead of the authentic stuff, which is kind of sad, really. You know, it's like. So they need maybe so you need to be involved in the next. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much uh, right. for your time. You're welcome.